Hello there, you welcome to my channel. I'm super excited to be doing this recording right now. My name is Edosa and you're on to Doza Height Digitals. All right, in this particular tutorial today, I want to teach you how you can add the progress bar to your video. Just the same way we've seen Gary Vee does it on his Instagram videos and he created a lot of base. So we're going to use two apps. We're going to use our Pixel Lab and also we're going to use our CapCut. Why are we using Pixel Lab? We're using Pixel Lab to create the progress bar shape. All right. Then we'll now take that shape and import it into our CapCut. So let me show you what we want to do. So let me first and foremost launch my CapCut application. Of course, I have a project that I'm actually working on. So let me just discard this particular project and click on new project all right now i've clicked on new project so i'm going to select my video that i want to add so i'm just going to click on this and go straight to my in shots folder i have a video that i would like to use i click on videos here and this one i want to use a particular one that i have 13 seconds so i'm just going to add it okay you can see this is the video there's nothing like progress bar on this video so what else am i going to do the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to go straight to my pixel lab so let me just exit this part here and go straight to my pixel lab application where i will be able to create the progress bar shape the essence of me using pixel lab, i can actually do this with canva but i prefer pixel lab because it allows me to give some space to both sides of my shape so okay so this is where we are and where i'm going to delete this particular new text and i'm just going to click on this part here and make my canva transparent then also i'm going to click on the plus sign here this one click on it and i'm going to add shapes all right so and this is the shape i want to have added so i'm just going to ex expand it on both sides so it becomes a little bit bigger and um this is the shape that we have then the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to change the color of this shape so that it matches what it is that we want to do so i'm just going to pick the color red okay that's the color that we have chosen for this particular word shape and the opacity is 100 all right then what else again am i going to do okay i think we're done with that so that's that about that the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to save this particular shape to my gallery so i'm going to click on save to gallery now this shape is saved to my gallery already so what else am i going to do i'm going to head back to my CapCut application and here in my CapCut, i'm going to click on overlay i'm going to click on overlay all right so when i click on this overlay I'm going to add overlay. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on photos. Then this is the shape that we just created using our pixel lab. Now I'm going to click on this. And if you notice, there are some space on both sides of the shape. The essence of me leaving that space is so that when I want to drag out this particular shape, we are not going to have any issues. So I'm just going to expand it to both thumbs to both sides now we've done that then the next thing i'm going to do is to move this to the extreme end of my work you can see i've moved to the extreme end you can see that we still have this line here that is the line that we're going to use to drag out our progress bar when we want to start editing it so now i'm going to split this one delete this do the same thing for this delete this now we are here now that we are here so i'm going to click on my keyframe all right i've clicked on the keyframe so in case you don't know where the keyframe is this is the keyframe i've clicked on it now since i've clicked on the keyframe i'm going to move this to the extreme end all right i move it to the extreme end then the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to drag out this shape to the other side now if you notice the moment i started dragging out the shape to the other side it applied the keyframe function to the other end of my work you can see the uh, the keyframe function is here so now since we have it here i'm just going to move this back to the beginning and i'm going to play it would you love to learn how to create eye-catching videos for your customers 
customers online, then this great because it's for you. User ID, the customers together and use smartphone video editing course for your smartphone user. So you can see that's how you add them play the game. So you see what we're talking about. Would you love to learn how to create eye-catching videos for your customers online? Then this video editing course is for you. User ID, the customers together, and use smartphone video editing course for your smartphone user. So that's how you add the progress bar to your video using CapCut. Remember, you just need the keyframe. Remember, first thing you need to do is you go to Pixel Lab, you create the shape that you want to use, and you allow it to have space on both sides. Then you import that shape into your CapCut application and apply the keyframe function on both sides of the shape. So try this out yourself and see what you can achieve. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It's the like button hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out whenever we post new tutorial thank you so much i'll see you again in another video bye bye